Good morning. It's uh, Jonathan Barrett with the uh, War Report, the Week Ahead Report. Uh, this is a report where we basically go through just some of the big features uh, of the up and coming week and also some of the themes that we're currently following. Um, but before we uh, get into that, I think let's just have a quick rerun of uh, what happened on Friday, how we left the week, so we can then begin uh, to analyse the week ahead. Okay, um, I guess uh, the Dow, pretty, uh, pretty quiet night. Pretty volatile, but closed at the lower end of its range, only up nine. Um, the S&P was up 0.8, the Nasdaq was down 2.2, and the Russell was off just a little bit. Uh, not a lot of news. Um, I guess over the weekend we did see that um, uh, Geely, a Chinese company, buys Volvo for 1.8 billion, um, and that's uh, quite an amazing deal actually, because uh, I know that uh, Ford actually paid uh, like six, seven billion for it. So uh, that's quite an interesting um, turn of events. Anyway, interesting to see how Volvo uh, works out after that. Um, but uh, I guess, if anything, let's uh, have a quick look at the head. That's uh, just a bit of a wrap there as to uh, what's happened there. Um, just on a few of the other things, uh, when you're just looking at the market. Um, crude was pretty quiet. Dollar index was off a little bit. Gold had a good move last night, or last Friday, uh, 11.10, lower end of the range, which is quite good, so we don't mind that. And of course, the uh, the all odds just uh, closed a little bit, slightly weaker, down to at four nine two four. Okay, um, now let's uh, have a look at uh, all the big data which is out uh, this week uh, to see whether or not uh, we'll get some moving and shakers. And uh, it's probably best to really start uh, Friday. I mean, a Monday. Um, I guess the most important bits of data we've got out on Monday. There we go. Um, Really, Eurozone, Eurozone industrial confidence and consumer confidence, very important there just to make sure that we're all looking right and that the confidence is there for the economies to start to move. Remember, inflation is an issue there, so uh, we want to see some confidence out, start to pick up. Uh, in the States, there's a little bit of PCI and personal income spending, and I think that'll be very important too. And you want to see these numbers looking good. You want to see these numbers looking quite a, a little bit more aggressive. Um, we don't have inflationary concerns um, in the... Um, G7 or in, in America at the moment. In fact, that's more of a concern because you're getting to that period where you want to see a little bit of sign of life there. Um, the stimulus packages are being withdrawn from the economies, and if you don't see any sign of life there, then you get to this period where we just stall, any form of recovery stalls. So that's Monday. Um, looking through on Tuesday, um, we've got, um, I guess, the uh, case shiller home prices, pretty important. Uh, ABC Consumer Confidence and also got the uh, gasoline numbers from the API. Uh, Wednesday, uh, I think Wednesday uh, in Australia we've got some good data there, retail sales, building approvals. Had some very positive night, positive data um, on home sales, uh, new and existing over the weekend, and uh, that was quite encouraging. So we good to see where they've got some backup there from the retail sales. A little bit in Germany there, um, and of course in, in America you've got the factory orders and all those Department of Energy data as well, so quite quite good there, quite important. In Japan you've got the tanking reports, so that'll be a good gauge there. We would expect to see a little bit of lift in these reports, particularly man, manufacturing and non-manufacturing. We want to see a little bit of uh, that index actually to be a little more positive, and of course that's some of the numbers that we are looking for, for them to be not negative, but to come a little bit more positive than that across the board. And uh, that's what we're, we're generally what we're looking at. As you can see here, you know, 24 down to 14 would be good, 18 down to 8. Um, all these things signifying that perhaps Japan is actually moving along and uh, could actually we get a bit of a lead out of them over the coming a couple of years. Um, because naturally that economy has been in a recessionary period for, for the longest. Okay, um, trade balance for Australia too on Thursday. You've got PMI out of China, which is pretty important. Um, and in the States, you've got um, construction spending, um, domestic retail sales, important. But I think on the week, the most important, uh, most important bit of data, we've got unemployment in the States. There we go. Changing non-farm payrolls, unemployment rate there, expected no change. Now, the Fed also believes that uh, that is the case, um, but we would like to see some improvement coming back into these numbers. You know, a 9.7 uh, average weekly hours sort of, um, you know, sort of picking up a little bit, which is good. Um, yeah, you really want to see some movement here, changing non-farm payrolls. You want non-farm payrolls to pick up, which is great. Up 200,000 is what we're looking for. It was a good number last month, so we want to see this ball rolling. If it continues, then we can be quite optimistic that the recovery is on the way. 
So let's stay close to those. That's probably about the best of the numbers. Um, I think during the week we can focus on. What sort of trades are we looking for at the moment? Well, I guess we're still, uh, of the trades we've got on, we're long, small copper. And if you have a quick look at that, uh, the copper chart there, um, just really doing nothing at the top end of the range. So we're, we're quite positive uh, on that. And as you can see, I would like to see a break to the top side. It's been a very long, long winter trade, but uh, I think we're getting pretty close to there. Gold, we picked up small gold there um, on Friday uh, for those. Uh, and I think that looks all right here. And I wouldn't be surprised to see it start to trade onwards and upwards. Um, onwards and upwards. Uh, silver looks all right. Aussie, 90.50. Uh, local market, uh, probably a little bit higher there. On the Aussie, we did have a go of it the other week, uh, late last week. Um, we are long US, but I'm a little bit nervous about that trade at the moment uh, because we did get a reasonable bounce off it. But as you can see here, momentum indicators are certainly looking weak here. Um, and I would like to see it either come back a little bit more or just go sideways for a while. Um, the other trades we've got on at the moment are small cotton. Uh, nothing too aggressive on that, and also a small sugar trade. And um, sugars, um, we'll have a quick look at cotton. And then we'll have a quick look at sugar as well. And as you can see there, cotton still not doing too much, but moving sideways at the top end of the band. I don't like that formation there. Uh, if it takes out that uh, below that level there, which is that 188.50, I might jump ship on it. Um, just having a quick look at sugar as well. We have got a small long position there. And you can see that that is exceptionally volatile and uh, a little bit of con con cause for concern on it. But uh, if anything there, um, there we go. We're still trying to find a little bit of a base here. And so we're quite happily being long that position, just looking for it. So just in a nutshell, um, it's going to be an interesting week. We've got a lot of numbers out, a lot of data, a lot of confidence figures. Unemployment at the end of the week is going to be very important. We want to see a bit of growth occurring. We want to see a little bit of stimulus uh, in the economies to show that we are moving onwards and upwards. And I think that's crucial uh, for all global economies at the moment. I want to see a little bit of inflation, a little bit of price pressure in, in Europe, um, and in America. Um, that will give me a little bit more confidence that uh, a little bit more is actually happening. Well, that's about it for the week ahead report. Uh, if you've got any questions, just feel free to give us a call. Have a good week.